We start now with the uh, Cathedral City's annual Veterans Day ceremony. News Channel 3's Marion Bouchot was at this morning's event and talked with families remembering their loved ones. Whose broad stripes and bright stars. A time of remembrance, reflection, and recognition. And knowing what he did, he did what he thought was right. Suzanne Young lost her army husband, Ron Lee Young, more than 50 years ago on her 21st birthday. She was one of the Gold Star families honored at Cathedral City's annual Veterans Day ceremony. I just have to believe that you go when it's your time. Ron was killed in Vietnam, leaving her with mixed emotions. My feelings have come and gone, you know, from being proud of him to being mad at him to missing him. Each veteran recognized with a toll of the bell. Sergeant Ronald Lee Young. Nearly 50 people came together to pay their respects. Among them, community leaders, veterans, and friends and family. Marine veteran Tom Hernandez helped organize the event. And we're here because our country is free and we're united, and we owe it to our veterans that have served in harm's way and have served us valiantly in, in, in many wars. Year after year, he never forgets those he served alongside with. Of course, I'm still alive, but we had buddies that died, and uh, remembering them, remember their faith and their courage. Because to him, they weren't just his friends and family. And they're heroes, and we have to remember them. Making sure to carry on the legacy each fallen hero left behind. Some people will still remember him long after I'm gone. In Cathedral City, Marion Bouchot, News Channel 3.